Hey yo, what's up? This is Dialect. Today I'm gonna show you how I'm using dirty tape in my production. My music is a blend of boom bap hip hop, noise, distortion, shoegaze. I mean, everything from My Bloody Valentine to KRS One to Public Enemy. It's just a cacophony of sound, a wall of sound. So it just encapsulates a lot of the different sounds that have influenced me throughout my life. And I just try to form it into my own brand of hip hop. All right, let's get started. And let me show you how I'm using dirty tape on drums. So I think you can hear how drastic of a difference dirty tape transforms the drums. I'm adding drive distortion to both the kick, which I have on a separate track, and uh, the snares and the hi-hats, which I have together. I also have the snares and the hi-hats uh, decoupled, so you're getting more of the warbling. You can hear how dirty tape kind of dulls out the drums and you know it's taking some of the high end off of it but it kind of gives you that like old tape deck vibe and in my opinion it just kind of brings the drums together so it kind of gives it I don't know just feels feels better to me than the uh the dry drums yeah dirty tape captures the sound that I love of analog tape but it gives you the stability of a plug-in. So when you pull it up on a track, you, you know what you're gonna get. You can sculpt it to that, that sound that you want, but it still gives you like those artifacts and that noise that you're looking for. Let's take a look at how I'm using dirty tape on keys. Yeah, so with the keys, you can hear it right away when you engage the plug-in, you could already hear the warmth that it brings, even at a clean level. And by obviously using the extended features, lowering the headroom, it's uh, affecting it more at a lower level. So you could, you could hear the fullness and the thickness that comes out. And then adding the drive, I mean, like it just transforms the sound. It goes like from this like standard stock sound to, I don't know, it just sounds like, you know, to me the way it should sound, you know? And let's look at how we're using dirty tape on guitar as well. Yeah, and then with the, the bass, it just accentuates the low end in a really nice, natural, warm way that just kind of brings out the fullness in the track. You know, it's funny, when I started, I was strictly using analog gear and MPC 3000. When I was recording, you know, I'm, to, I'm going back to the days of a Sound Blaster 16. So you had inherent noise in, in these units. Since I've, you know, 
currently working on, on, on uh, much cleaner gear. I find myself trying to dirty up the sound, if that makes sense. So to dirty up the sound in the studio, I have a Tascam Porter studio. You know, with the different variables of analog gear, it's nice to have a, a plug-in gear where I can kind of harness that same type of distortion and drive. Yo, so go download Dirty Tape today and check out Dialect at deadverse.com.